Let's talk about mobile SSDs for both iPad and Mac users. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I have a couple stacks of mobile SSDs that are designed specifically to work well with both Mac and iPads. I guess technically PCs too, but we're really focusing on the other two in this video. Now everything here is going to be either Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C, though of course you could get a USB-C to USB-A adapter if you need them, and many of these even come with USB-A ones in the box. But most of them are all new drives that are communicating over USB-C or Thunderbolt 3. If you'd like to pick up any of these drives, there are links down below in the description for the best prices. And I'm gonna make this easy by going through multiple chapters in the video so you can look at each drive individually, or you can jump to the end where I'll give my recommendations for best drive, honorable mention, best durable drive, rugged drive, uh, and most expensive, fastest performance drive that you can buy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dump into this. Up first are both versions of the CalDigit Tough Nano. The smaller one here, this is the Tough Nano, and then the larger one is the Tough Nano Plus. And they're very similar in a lot of ways. They just have in different internal media. So many of the same shared features. Uh, they each have uh, multiple colors that they're available in. They can be submerged in one meter of water for up to 30 minutes, and they each have three meters of drop protection. Technically, they have an IP67 resistance rating against dust and liquids. The way they differ is that the Tough Nano Plus is slightly faster. They have promised speeds of 1088 megabytes per second and 1087 megabytes per second for the read and write speeds, whereas the Tough Nano by itself only has 1055 read and 900 write. So this one is slightly slower, but it's more compact, and the read speeds are still pretty much the same. If you want just a little bit more speed, you can go for the Tough Nano Plus, but I think for most people, the standard Tough Nano would be a good choice between these two drives. Always a crowd favorite. Let's talk about the Samsung T7 line. So there are three different versions of the Samsung T7. There is the standard T7, which looks like this, but without this little square here. There's this version, which is the Samsung T7 Touch that has AES-256 encryption is protected by a fingerprint reader on the drive itself. And then there's the Samsung T7 Shield, which is ultra durable and has this rubberized exterior to help protect it during drops. Now, these things are just always very popular because they have great build, I mean, all aluminum bodies, and Samsung keeps iterating on them, coming out with newer, newer versions. Now, the Samsung T5 is still out there. You can go ahead and pick up this last generation version. You can see the size difference. It's a little bit thicker than the T7 line, but it's a bit smaller. It is about half as fast though, so it's still USB-C, still uh, SSD media. These are a bit cheaper if you can still find them. I like them, I still use it. Um, but if you want like the newest and the best, you should pick one of the new T7s. Uh, the T7 Touch is great if you need to protect your things at the same time. The Shield is nice because it has that drop protection, IP65 rating and three meters of drop protection. But all three of them, regardless of which one you choose, have the same read and write speeds, around 1055 megabytes per second read and 1000 megabytes per second for the write speed. These are always incredible drives and I highly, highly recommend them. If you're looking for small, take a look at the Crucial X6. So this is a solid drive. It has 800 megabytes per second as its top speed um, and has two meters of drop protection in this super small compact body. It's still USB-C, but I just love how small it is, which I think is what's pretty phenomenal. And this is actually a four terabyte SSD here at the same time. I think it's most comparable to like the standard CalDigit Tough Nano or the Samsung T5. Basically that last generation SSD media is in here, but it's smaller than this is. Like it's definitely a smaller drive. So this is a very high on my list for like compact drives. It's really nice. It is plastic versus the others that have a metal exterior, but I don't mind it because it keeps it super ultra lightweight, very easy to slip into a pocket. You don't have to worry about that metal scratching or this scratching any of your other devices. Very easy to slip into a pocket or a bag and take with you. I cannot tell you how many Lassie rugged drives I have. I have a stack of them that I go through for different things, different media, all sorts of stuff, and they are absolutely one of my go-tos basically since the beginning of time. 
And these are relatively new, which is their new rugged SSD. And unlike before where they had like an opening in the center where the aluminum would shine through and the bumper could be removed, this is all one solid piece of rubberized exterior. They are famously designed by Neil Poulton. They kind of look like a life raft, but I love them. I originally didn't like like the bright colors and then I'm like, holy crap, this is super useful to be able to always find your SSD because it stands out and it's really drop resistant. I know they all have similar ratings in terms of drop resistant, but this feels like one of the most durable that I've tested. So it's got three meters of advertised drop protection and IP67 rating uh, for getting keeping out water and dust, even if you would happen to submerge it for a minute. Got pretty standard speeds as far as the other ones go, 10, uh, 1050 megabytes per second at its top speed. Admirable, very fast drives. They even come with color matched cables, which I like. So color matched USB-C cable, it just <laughs> very handy. I really like the looks of these drives. Compared to some of the other ones, it also seems to fit uh, better because it has the connection port on the side, and I, I kind of like that versus here on the end. But yeah, the they have a pro version of these as well that has even higher speed, and it comes in all black, if that's more you're liking. But for I think most people out there, this is a solid option, very high on my recommendations list. So I apologize because this is, is technically a last generation version of this drive, but I like it so much that I still want to include it even if I hadn't upgraded to one of the new ones yet. But this is the Glyph Atom RAID Pro SSD, some form of those, but the new one is called the Glyph Atom Pro. But basically it is um, SSD media on the inside, but crazy, crazy fast speeds and even works over Thunderbolt versus USB-C. Yes, it is backwards compatible with USB-C, but it works over Thunderbolt for even better speeds. Everything we've covered so far is usually around uh, just over a thousand megabytes per second. This will do up to 2,800 megabytes per second in terms of read speed and 2,450 in terms of write speed. This is the fastest one on my list of SSDs. I think it looks great, has a nice metal body and the Glyph logo etched there. And it's covered in this bumper that can be removed, but it's also extra protective, extra grippy, protects the drive and the stuff in your bag. The newer version has more coverage from this rubberized exterior, um, but otherwise, the same thing, just a newer version. Uh, this looks more like their RAID SSD, but they do have, I believe, the upgraded version that is just blazing, blazing fast if you're looking for the one of the fastest portable SSDs out there. Any creator knows the SanDisk brand. You're, you've probably bought a bunch of their SD cards. They're frequently on sale on Amazon uh, and at Best Buy, but they've been recently in the past several years now getting into the, the portable drive market and they're great. They have this like, it's a plastic body, but like a soft touch exterior to it that makes it feel grippy and nice to hold. It, it's very unique. It's just not a metal body with a silicone cover on the outside that every other one does. It's something more special and it feels very nice and professional. So this is the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. Read speeds of 1055 megabits per second and write speeds of 1000 megabits per second. It has IP55 rating, which isn't the highest we've seen, but it's still very durable. But what I especially like about it is this loop. It's a loop. You can attach a carabiner, clip it onto a bag. It's easy to hold onto. It's the funniest little thing. And talking to the SanDisk team, they have told me how, how incredibly popular just having this loop here is, this whole, this carabiner clip, whatever you want to call it. But I, I agree. I, I take this one with me probably more than almost any other drive here just because it's super slim to be able to fit into a bag and it has that clip that I can use to keep it secure. So this is another very solid drive. It's nice and affordable. I, I particularly like these and I believe they have a faster one available, but yeah, this is one of my go-tos as well. Great drive for creators, um, college, really just anyone out there. This is another drive that I'm highlighting that technically there's an updated version out. You can still buy these, they still have them on Amazon, but this is the LaCie Mobile SSD, and this is in space gray. This was actually created for Mac users, and they had this as an Apple exclusive colorway that exactly matched the space gray exterior of the Mac. And I really like that aspect, so if you're a Mac owner and you want something that's going to go particularly well, this is a good option. It's got these slick diamond cut sides and a really neat aesthetic that you don't see all too often. 
So they came up with a new version of this that has a more rounded look that's got tapered edges, but still the same space gray colorway. You can also get them in silver if you're looking through Amazon and everywhere else. But I kind of like the space gray look. It, it looks really neat. These things will have 1055 megabits per second in terms of read speeds and 1000 megabits per second in write speeds. Um, but yeah, there's a newer version available. I like the old ones or the new ones. Either are nice and they're very Apple specific, nice colorways to go with and a very neat design that looks unlike most everything else that I've covered so far. Finally, here's the last drive on the list that I want to talk about, which is the Phantom Drives Extreme SSD. And the, the X is capitalized in extreme, if that wasn't clear by my pronunciation. But this is another super fast Thunderbolt SSD. So like the Glyph Atom that we talked about, it has read speeds of 2,800 megabytes per second and write speeds of 2,300 megabytes per second. So slightly slower write speeds, but still incredibly fast. This all metal body and it's helped to cool thanks to these ridges going down the side that make it a little bit extra grippy to hold onto. It's got silicone pads on the bottom so it doesn't slide around. Another awesome drive. There's only a few Thunderbolt uh, portable SSDs out there and these things, they make it worth it with those really very fast speeds. So that was a lot of drives, but let's sum it up with my favorite with very specific recommendations. Starting off with my top recommendation, if you're just looking for a drive, blanket drive, which one should you get? I'd probably suggest the Samsung T7 or one of the Samsung T7s. They're reliable, they're great design, super slim, and just very, very popular. These are popular for a reason, and I would very much recommend them. So go with the standard T7, unless you want that password protection or the fingerprint protection, something like that. But the standard T7 is a fantastic all-around SSD. Second place pick, second place pick, my honorable mention, this would go to the Samsung Extreme Portable SSD for a few reasons. It's very small and compact, even smaller than the Samsung T7 line. It's nice and durable, that IP55 rating. I love the extra clip here, similar speeds, good capacities up to four terabytes, uh, and has a different feel than most other drives here on the list. I, I like these very much, so this would probably be my second choice. Uh, and it also is nicer to your other gear in your bag since it's not metal, it's not gonna scratch or hit up against anything. Very, very good choice for an SSD. Next option, if you're looking for the most durable drive, your durable one, you could go with the Samsung T7 Shield. Great option, but my personal preference is that Lassie Rugged SSD. I like these. I love the design of them, the feel of them, and they feel super durable. I just like these. Maybe it's a personal preference thing, but if I'm recommending something, I'm recommending these and they have that super fast pro option in the black that's just as durable with increased speeds. So it has like both options available depending on your needs. But yeah, check out the Let's See Rugged SSDs. And lastly, if you wanna splurge, you wanna spend more money for the absolute fastest SSD around, it's gotta be the Glyph. The Glyph, what's the name of this exactly? Make sure I get it correct. The Glyph Atom Pro, Glyph Atom Pro. This has similar speeds, it's got the same read speeds as the Phantom Drives, but it has faster write speeds, which I think is also very important for obvious reasons. So if you are trying to boot off of this, do a lot of uh, video production, this would be like that pro option that I would recommend and it communicates over Thunderbolt 3 versus USB-C. So this, this is the one I'd pick up if you want the fastest, more expensive SSD around. So that's it. I hope this helped you find an SSD, but this is not all of them. There are many more. Let me know your own personal preferences down below in the comments. And like I said at the beginning, if you'd like to pick up any of these SSDs, there's a link down below in the description. Otherwise, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next video.